In just over two weeks, the U.S. Olympic team will descend upon Tokyo with the hopes of rising up with gold. We've heard about the physical preparation athletes endure, but not much has been reported on the mental fitness that is required. I recently spoke to an expert on this issue. Dr. Lenny Waite is an Austinite and former Olympian who competed in the 3,000 meter steeplechase in the 2016 Olympics in Rio. She went on to compete in the World Championships in 2017 and three Commonwealth Games. Now she is the USA Track and Field Chair of the Sports Psychology Subcommittee, which offers Olympic athletes psychology and mental health services. I asked her how COVID affected the Olympic athletes and their need for these types of services. Yeah, COVID really increased the use of, of mental health services. If you put yourself in an Olympian shoes, maybe somebody who just missed out on Rio in 2016, and they've trained four years, then they have this uncertain moment where, oh my goodness, is all of this training gonna pay off? When we consider their mental health in combination with this pressure to perform and of course to win, what types of risks do athletes face? We have some athletes who have suffered with mental illness for years who are able to compete and actually maybe that competitive arena is their safe zone where they feel you know, most healthy and most, most effective in their lives. Then we have other athletes where that competitive arena actually brings on a lot of anxiety, a lot of self-doubt. We learned fans will not be allowed to watch the Olympic competitions because of a new state of emergency related to COVID. Will this affect the athletes in any way? I think in general competitions during this COVID time period have felt different. Um, that energy and excitement missing from that Olympic arena is going to be challenging for some athletes. But I also think for others, it could be a, a blessing to be that more relaxed and more focused. Um, it just really depends on the athlete. And Dr. Waite's advice to other Olympians as they prepare for Tokyo? Stay present and take it all in. She advises them to remember they deserve to be there. Now in less than a week, Candy will be making the journey to Tokyo along with all the athletes we've been following. Go to KXAN.com right now to see her conversations with Olympians going for gold.